Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Currently, I'm at Kuala Lumpur Butterfly Park. It's been a while since I last came here. I thought I'd invite you guys to come along with me and do some insect macro photography. Let's do this. Originally, I have some Sunday plans with a few friends, but unfortunately, one of my friends got into close contact with a COVID positive patient, so she has to self isolate. The plan got cancelled, and suddenly my Sunday is free. I thought, I want to do something with my camera, and I haven't done insect macro photography in a while. So I thought of Butterfly Park, I haven't came here for a long time. It's time to revisit this place and do some insect macro. Honestly, I don't have any plans for this session. I don't really know what I want to do. I'm going to capture some shots, maybe show you guys around the location and show you guys how I got these shots, share a few tips. I don't even know if there's any more tips I can share. I've done a lot of insect macro videos in the past, but we'll see what we can do. Before we start, I want to show you how I set up my gear. I have here the Olympus FL50R flash, which I'm going to trigger wirelessly off camera. I have the OMD EM1 Mark III with the 60mm f2.8 macro lens mounted on the camera already. And this is the FLRM3 flash, the mini flash that clips onto the camera to trigger the wireless flash off camera. And of course, uh, we never fire the flash directly onto the subject. We always diffuse it with a softbox. So I'm going to put everything together and we will do some inside macro. Camera setting wise, I'm keeping things really easy. I'm shooting at ISO 200, which gives us the best dynamic range and also the best sharpness. We want to retain as much details as we can when we do macro. And I'll go high magnification, go really close with the macro lens. And I trigger the flash wirelessly, as I've mentioned. If you want to find out about my flash settings and how I configure the wireless setup, I've made a video about that. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out. I everything else is in manual. Shutter speed is about 1 over 200 to 250 of a second. The F number, aperture, I'll adjust accordingly. I'll start with F4, F5.6, I'll stop down to F8 or F10 to get sufficient depth of field. The key here is you want enough zone in focus. You don't just want to see the eye of the insect or the bug. You want to see at least a huge portion of the body. You want to review as many details as possible. The setting is quite straightforward, but the execution is the tricky part. To me, a huge part of the fun doing insect macro is the hunt, looking for those tiny little creatures itself. And when I found those beautiful bugs, man, the feeling is so... I don't even know how to describe. There's the excitement, the thrill, and the thought that I'm about to photograph them. Man, it's just beautiful.
I think I've said this before and I'm going to say it again as a reminder to some of you who are new to macro photography. Please respect nature. Do not touch those little bugs. Do not abuse them. Don't relocate them from wherever they are. Shoot them on location as is, right? Do not touch them. Don't do anything to them. They deserve a life. I think they don't need our intervention or whatever that we are doing to abuse them. Please be respectful all the time. Honestly, I don't think I have enough shots to make this video, but it doesn't matter. This is a short session and I have not done Insect Macro in a long while. So this has been really fun for me. Insect Macro Photography is not just something that I do because I love the tiny creatures, but it is my training ground. Insect macro is technically challenging. You need to make sure everything is in focus. Sometimes I have to do manual focus. I need to make sure I have enough depth of field. I need to control the aperture on the go. I need to watch the flash, make sure that my image is properly exposed. There's just so many variables. And to hold the camera still, holding it with one hand, another hand with flash. And there's just so many things happening at once. It is just the perfect place to keep my mind sharp whenever I'm not doing anything too serious. It is like an exercise. It is like, you know, swimming practice. It is like the training session for athletes before they actually go for tournaments or competitions. It is the same for me as a photographer. I have to keep shooting. It is not just, oh, I keep the camera at home in the dry box. I don't touch it. And whenever I have a job or something important, I just bring the camera out and shoot. No, I have to keep my mind sharp. I have to always be ready to shoot. That's all I have to share about my insect macro photography. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've enjoyed looking at the photographs that I've shared. If you do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way and will definitely help me to continue making similar videos and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, stay safe. Take care. Please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.